Hey you all, this is Ox Fatalis Hectoberfest Day 7. I did a bit of sidetracking from the usual tool development, or at least next to developing some tools, I had to clear my mind up, and I went back to one of my earlier topics of uh, possible video candidates, which is searching for old versions of Arx Fatalis. After digging through the archives, I've managed to read a lot about one particular demo version of Arx Fatalis, which was the first ever to be released to the public. Its special identifier is that it's only 151 megabytes and it's just an Arx demo exe, probably a self-executing demo. And every source that I searched were either no longer available or simply the links on the page were broken. And as you can see, we have quite a few pages uh, pointing to the demo that you can get and it was hosted on multiple mirrors. Sadly, if you check the links, they all point to some old outdated FTP server. So at this point, I kinda started to give up. And that is when I accidentally came about a Hungarian page Origo software basis, um, Origo software based. I, I I couldn't believe my eyes. It's exactly the demo that I was looking for. It was published by Fish Tank Interactive, and it is indeed the 151 megabyte version, and it is still downloadable today. You probably have to set a lot of compatibility mode once you downloaded it, but I will place the link into the description. I to have it on my PC, and if someone gets a proper hosting for it, then I am happy to upload it there. The more sources we have, the better. Right, enough talking of this. I would like to show you guys just a little bit from that demo, because it contains some features and interesting changes compared to the version we know and love today, which you will definitely love. Be right back. I have to record this stuff uh, separately since the game upon starting will probably change the resolution at least five times. Bandicam will just freak out. And here we are in the main menu. As you can see, the game has a drastically different font. Um, the options are fairly limited. I cannot even set this to work in window, let alone do any other interesting tweaking. But bump mapping, that's important, so that's already in. Right, the controls are fairly mixed up have some problems with that, and here's another interesting new thing. Amshigar is facing us and not just looking over our shoulder. Uh, if you change the appearance, this will go away. Also, we kinda lack the fourth hero. Alchuke is probably going to be a bit sad for not having the pentagram guy. I will just go with this default guy, and as you can see, the font used in this context is 100 times better than Hansa, the font they chose for arcs in the final version. Quick generate, done. And looky here, we have a different background paper. Listen, the music is already playing. In the final version, it only starts playing here. And Oops, we have some horrible glitches. And I think you will see in a second why this version of the demo wasn't the most popular among the demo versions. Oh goody. Um, seizure warning. Heavy 
seizure warning. Proceed with caution. Right, right click once to look around, the usual tutorial messages, but it is written on this paper and it is so much more readable. You cannot get past this. Probably not the best option for veteran players, but for new players this is a much better option. This is mouse lock, and since we are inside Amshigar, the polygons get horribly mangled. Uh, they say that this was fixed in the next demo version, but all the other goodies that we have in this demo, the quirks, the stuff on the UI that you just saw from the menu, all vanish in those versions. So, one of my goals is to patch this to make it workable. Holy shit. Excuse me, I will try to get out and survive the goblin fight without actually seeing anything. Interesting stuff with the controls. Tab will open the book and right click toggles the uh, mouse look, but also it will it will equip weapons. Yeah. Since Tab is bound to taking the book, we have to use the left mouse button. You can probably fiddle with the controls. Oh, come on. I'm here, go bow. Weak. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I will try to uh, keep the down looking to a minimum. We have the usual missing texture for the white bread. And we need a fairly good place to cast some cheat spells because cheats actually work. All right. Uh, No, I will not, Kultar, sorry. So, casting spells is a bit different again. Is that my back? Great. Watch how I cast spells, I'm trying to write max. I, I cannot go down or up if I'm... I'm viewing this at a certain angle. The same goes for when you look down. Anyway, I will try to cast the max spell. Holy shit, this is horrible. Ah, it's not working at all. M A X. Bear with me. Come on! bit lower, sorry about the horrible glitches. Also, you can hear the waterfall from here. There we go. Now we have even more glitches because we are glowing in red. <sighs> right. Alright, I will not torture you guys any further with these glitches. Let me just quit the game quickly, go back to desktop and I will share you my thoughts on this. Right, sorry about the seizure parade, guys. I tried to replace the player model with these, uh, at least the textures, with these black rectangles, which should render transparent uh, when you view it in the game. And it actually works for Arx Libertatis, but in this version it doesn't. I mean, if I change anything on it, it doesn't show up, it will just show the default texture. So, uh, at the moment, my goal is to unpack the pack files and change the texture there and repack it so that the texture would be applied. Or at least that is the only sensible idea that I have at the moment. Some people back then, uh, right after the coming out of the demo, complained on TTLG forums that the game is, well, it plays perfectly without any problems, except for some odd reason I can't see the screen. 
And if you read the, uh, the forum replies, then there are stuff like set the CFG in a uh, variable ATI to one and that should solve it. But no, not in this version, only in the next versions. Uh, if you check the changelog messages on RPG dot in one of the archives, then Raphael says that they managed to fix these ATI graphics card glitchinesses since I don't know if this affects uh, NVIDIA cards. Guys, please try it out and shout if you don't experience these, but I have a Intel card and an ATI card in my laptop and none of them seem to cooperate well with this demo version. Nonetheless, they did fix a bunch of stuff like the font have been changed. So if you want to experience the original OG demo of Arx Fatalis, then I guess you have to buy a specific computer that doesn't have an ATI card. My goals now are to expand the Note PKware and uh, any of the other tools to be able to unpack pack files too. And of course, we have a shit ton of unpacking tools. So what we need is a tool which can both unpack and repack pack files. All right, guys, this is it for me today. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye bye.